Hello and welcome. My name is Jessica and I'm from Devolutions. Today we're going to look at how to set up a VPN for a group of servers at a remote location. Let's just take a moment and think about all the hoops we need to jump through to actually connect to a remote server. The, there's the service username and password we need to find and enter. There are the VPNs we need to set up. Well, actually with RDM, we can automate these preliminary steps so that we can get to work quicker. Today, I'm going to show you how we recommend that you set up the VPN. Here's how to set up a VPN for a group of servers at a remote location. The first thing we need is a VPN entry. And I'm not gonna go into very many specifics about it because RDM supports over 30 VPN clients and it's just too complex. What I will say is that I highly recommend you create a separate VPN entry First, because we can use one VPN entry with all of our remote connections, we get to reuse it. And second, because when it's a separate entry, we could always open the VPN independent of the sessions, if you need to for some reason. In this case, we have a group of servers behind the same firewall. And so they all use the same VPN entry. I've collected the RDP sessions to the different servers, as well as an SSH entry in the same folder as the VPN. I've named this folder Downhill Servers. The next step is to configure the settings for the VPN so that it opens automatically when we need it. We're going to configure these settings on the folder, then all the individual entries will inherit the settings from the folder. Click on the folder properties, and click on VPN SSH Gateway. Open. There are several different options. We recommend connect if unable to ping scan. What happens is RDM tests if the host responds. If it doesn't, RDM launches the VPN. For close, we have three different types of options. Again, we recommend on session close. This means when we close the remote connection, the VPN closes. You might be asking yourself right now, well, what happens if I have multiple remote connections open? When does the VPN close? Well, that's when VPN groups comes in. When we choose a VPN group, the VPN only closes when the last remote connection is closed. And then we choose a type. You will choose session. Then click on the settings tab. Now we need to choose the session. We'll choose downhill servers VPN. That's the VPN entry I created at the beginning. As you can see, there are many more settings that you can configure. This is all we need to start using the VPN. I'll leave the rest for you to discover. Now we're going to set it so that the individual entries inherit the settings from the folder. For that, I'm just going to use a quick batch edit. So I'll select my different entries, right click, uh, point to edit, batch edit, and edit entries general settings. Then I click on VPN SSH gateway and click Override VPN. Finally, I set Open to Inherited, and this will inherit the settings for Open, Close, VPN, Group, and Type. Click OK. So let's just make sure everything is working. I'm just going to open a remote connection and sit back, relax, and let the process take care of itself. Great, so we're connected to the first server. I'll open one more. Here the VPN is already open, so it doesn't need to launch it again. And let's open the SSH as well. There we 
go, we can see they're all connected. Now I'm going to close some of the sessions. So we have one session left and the VPN is still open. I'll close the last one. And you see that the VPN closed as well. It closed because that was the last session open. So that's how to set up a VPN for a whole physical location. I hope it makes opening remote connections easier for you. If you need infor more information about this, we've made a step-by-step -step instructions and include the link in the description. Thanks for watching.